Hi, Tay Moss here. I'm going to show you how to reverse sear a steak. Start off with a steak. This is a ribeye cut. Uh, not totally cheap, but cheaper than some of the other cuts that you might get at the market. So cook your steak at 250 degrees in the oven. Depending on how thick it is, it might take about 40 minutes, or in this case about 50 minutes. Uh, but your target temperature is about 125 degrees. I'm a degree over, but that's about right. 125 degrees, okay? Now you notice that the surface doesn't look that awesome, but we're going to fix that in a minute. Take your cast iron pan, I assume you have one, well seasoned is best, and you're going to heat that up over high temperature, okay? And then you're going to squirt it with canola oil. Basically, you don't need a lot of oil, you just need a little bit. When it starts smoking, that's your cue that it's time to take your steak and put it on the searing surface. Before you sear your steak, open your window, turn on your fan. And if you can catch it, the screen starts to turn Pause. And we sear our steak. Don't touch it. One minute. Stay it on for about one minute. You get lots of great smoke coming off of that, don't worry about it. Just let the sucker keep it on high and let it sear. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Quick. Start your timer again. Pretty good. Pretty good. I might actually um, flip it over again and stir a little bit more on the side, but it's looking actually pretty really good. Got a nice smoke coming off of it. This is a good way to test your smoke alarm. Okay. Put it down in a minute. Let's see what we've got going on here. Right. Camera off. Look at that smoke. See? Look at that. Awesome. What happened was the temperature actually uh, went up a little bit as it was sitting this side. So I'm going to just give the other side another here. Looks like, I don't know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. And we're going to flip it back over again. So that smoke going off. A lot of that is actually the oil which is around the steak, not even on the steak. Is that right? There you go. Look at that. That's just keeping the ground going. There's the fire alarm. At this point, I just had it on this side for like 20 or 30 seconds. I'm going to take it off. And we have a beautifully brown steak. Nice smoke. So you might notice some areas that aren't quite as perfectly brown as you might like. I have a solution for that. You ready? Boom. Alright, here we go. Take the low torch. And sear. What we're trying to do here is just brown the surface. Don't make it too black. Just brown. Quick application of heat on the surface. That's what we're looking for. Put it over, check the other side. See if there's like a gray spot there. And fix that. Keep it moving as much as you can. Nice fat back there. And I think we're done. Check that out, that's what reverse searing gets you. Look at that nice, perfectly pink interior. And then look at that, mm, nice brown exterior with a little bit of a crust. Perfect, enjoy. So Henry, what do you think of the steak? Good. Yeah, what's your favorite part of the steak? Um, the, this part? That part? Mm -hmm. I mean like, what aspect of the flavor? Um, the red. You like the red part? Mm -hmm. The red part, yeah, look at that. 
That is pretty much perfect. So how do you do it? You cook it in the oven. Yeah, we cook it in the oven at 250 for about 45, 50 minutes, depending how on how thick it is. What's the, what was the internal temperature you were aiming for? 125 degrees Fahrenheit. And then once you hit that, you take it out, and then you get your searing pan ready, which is just like a cast iron pan. And you want to get that hot enough that it starts to smoke. And then you... you, you put any, any oil in yes, it? Yes, canola oil. A uh, little bit of canola oil. Um, you don't necessarily have to add the canola oil, but I find it helps a little bit. It gets a little bit evener cook. Anyway, then you sear it for about one to two minutes per side, depending, and then you flip it. And if it's not quite brown, then you flip it again, right? But basically you want it nice and relatively evenly brown. And if there's any gray left, you can hit it with a blowtorch if you want to. That's optional. But you can hit it with a blowtorch to fix that, and then you're good to go. Let it rest a little bit and carve it up. What's your verdict, Henry? Um, do you know that, um, this type of drink? Yeah? Tastes kind of like the wine from church. The ginger ale, I mean the, uh, sorry, the champagne tastes mm -hmm. like the wine from church. Uh-huh. It's true. I think it actually is the wine from church. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't use bubbles for mm -hmm. the communion wine. Mm -hmm. But I need something else. It's mm -hmm. not tasty. Yeah, I know. You need you want some water or some milk? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good idea. Because you can't really quench your thirst with with the the champagne. champagne. I know. Say bye, Henry. Bye.